Hey guys, welcome to the MAC channel. My name's Kayla and I'm gonna be showing you how to create this super fun, glossy ombre lip today. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so first things first, I'm taking a bit of my Studio Fix powder and I'm just blotting it around the edges of my lips to make sure that I have a really nice blank canvas for my lipstick. I also find this helps the lipstick to stay on better as well. Another tip for long wearing lipstick and something I don't leave the house without is prep and prime lip. Along with keeping your lipstick on for a long time, this is also going to help your lip liner smooth on easier. So when you're doing something like an ombre lip, it's gonna help everything blend together. So I do give the lip primer about 30 seconds to set just so that it gets a little bit tacky. Now we can go in with our lip liner and I personally think this is the most crucial step in creating an ombre lip. So I'm using a deep color chestnut. You can pick any dark color that goes with the color scheme that you're doing. So for me, I usually like to start on the top lip and just give it a little, oh my goodness, you guys, it's gonna be so hard to talk and do lip liner at the same time, but I'm gonna try my best. So just doing short little strokes back and forth. You can also kind of see that I'm letting the lip liner do a lot of the work for me in creating a nice blended edge. Also make sure you're working from the outer corner, working your way towards the cupid's bow, so you can get a nice full lip without going too far outside of the lines. Now that we look like we have a mustache, move on to the bottom lip and do the same thing. I'm gonna pull the lip pencil kind of on its side. This will help to blend everything out in an easy way. And it also guides your pencil along the line of your lip. If you use the tip, sometimes it can be less precise. Once I get into the center here, I am gonna use the tip of the pencil and just get really thin in there. Don't worry about making the edge of your lip too crisp and clean, because I'm gonna show you how you can go in and clean it up a little bit later. So now we have a line all over. At this point, you're probably questioning my abilities as a makeup artist, but I'm going to show you how we blend this all in. Next step, taking your lip liner again on the outer corners and color this area in. We want it to be darker in the outer corners than along the edge. This is what's gonna create that gradient effect from dark on the outer edges towards light in the center. So now everything's drawn on. We're gonna come in with a lip brush. This is the 248 brush. And just very gently tap the edge of the lip liner. I do a tapping motion and sort of pull in towards the center of the lip, but make sure you leave the very center of the lip open so that we can create that really nice gradient. So already you can start to see how things are coming together deeper on the outer edge and just my natural lip color is creating a softer inside. So now we have a good lip line going, we can come in with lipstick. The first color I'm gonna be using is Velvet Teddy and we're gonna work this guy just from the outer corner in kind of right over top of those deeper edges we drew in with the lip liner. And another good trick is to take your lipstick on your lip brush, just load up a little bit, and just tap that over the edge of the lip liner. So you can see how it starts to soften everything and blend it in. So to finish the gradient, we're gonna go in with a second lipstick that's slightly lighter than the first lipstick. Depending how intense you want your ombre will depend how light this color is. The lighter the color in the center, the stronger the ombre. This color is called Honey Love, and we're just gonna press it right in the middle. Don't be afraid to be a little generous with this one. Again, just taking my brush with whatever is left over on it from Velvet Teddy, and just press on the edges of the lighter color helps to make everything super seamless. You don't wanna see a start or stop to any colors. Now what I like to do to make sure that everything is blending really nicely is go in with my lip pencil and just add a little bit more depth wherever I think I need it, mostly the outer corners. And then taking your brush one last time and just softening that edge. It looks like on my teeth. Just give it a little pull with your finger and that will avoid any of those problems. So earlier I mentioned you don't have to be too concerned about your lip line being exactly perfect, and that's because we're gonna clean it up. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So 
starting with whatever foundation you use all over your face or concealer, either or will work. This is the Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation, which is actually a concealer foundation hybrid. So we're gonna use that because it does both. And I've just grabbed a teeny tiny brush. I'm actually completely opposite today, guys. I used a concealer brush for my lip and a lip brush for my concealer. Don't ask me why. I think because the concealer brush fits my lip shape better because they do have a bit of a fuller lip. So I like to use a bit of a larger brush on my actual lip. And then to clean up my edges, I do prefer something that is super small and precise. So I've just placed a bit of foundation on the back of my hand and I'm grabbing a little bit of my brush. From here, we're gonna use this just like an eraser. So running it very gently across the lip line and just wiping away any excess lip liner or lipstick that might have gotten outside of the lines. I like doing this technique with any lip that's a little bit bolder or has more color to it. You can use this same technique with your reds or your purples, whatever you're into. This is gonna be super helpful. Again, I'll always come back in with my lip liner and just touch up ever so slightly. Sometimes I take away too much, it happens. So just find that nice balancing act of where you need to add a little bit more, where you need to take some away. This is looking pretty good. It's honestly giving me like 90s vibes, which I'm so into the fact that that trend is back as a child of the 90s. I'm so glad that we get to experience this trend again as adults, because I was just a little kid, so I didn't really understand what was trending. So I think it's so cool that this is back in style. Now we're gonna take it one step further. If you know me, you know that I can't live without lip gloss. This look is not gonna be complete without a little bit of clear lip gloss. So let's go ahead and put that just all over and take this ombre to the next level. So when I'm applying gloss on top of an ombre lip, I do like to come in with my lip brush and just be very gentle so that you're not pulling any of the color away. You're just gonna sweep on top. I almost kind of levitate and just let the gloss pull and do all of the work for me. And for me, guys, you can never have too much lip gloss. I'm like that TikTok trend where it's like, don't be shy, add some more. That's me with lip gloss. <laughs> so don't be shy, add some more. And now again, lipstick is gonna get on my teeth. So just take a quick finger. You can see how much lipstick comes off on your finger. And that will prevent it from getting all over. I love a glossy ombre lip, you guys. Life-changing. So if you haven't tried something like this, give it a try. There's no better time than now to try a new trend or a new makeup technique. All right, guys, so that is the look. I'm really feeling super 90s vibes right now. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did and enjoyed learning these tips and tricks on creating a fun, glossy ombre lip. If you learned something today, make sure you hit that like button and follow MAC Cosmetics on all social media platforms so that you can be notified of all of these new videos that are gonna be coming out. Smash that subscribe button, guys. I had so much fun hanging out with you playing makeup, but I will see you guys in the next one.